Hey guys, today's video is on a refrigerator not cooling on the fresh food side or the refrigerator side. I received a call from a customer with a Maytag refrigerator, what we call an over and under, freezer at the top, refrigerator at the bottom, that the refrigerator side was not cooling. Top five reasons for this is usually a dirty condenser coil, evaporator fan motor, blocked air vents, condenser fan motor, or faulty damper control. Let's take a look. So when I first arrived, of course this is the freezer side that was frost and ice. And then all I did was open the refrigerator door. Here's one air vent to the left, middle, and right. They were completely blocked with ice. So of course, the evaporator fan motor is what sends air to the fresh food side and that was blocked to the point that no air was coming through. After returning and the refrigerator has been defrosted, I'm just showing you the screws that you need to remove to get to that back panel and take a look at those evaporator coils and also to clear the drain and the blockage. You're going to need to remove the ice maker. As with most refrigerators, I use an extension. It's just a quarter nut drive. And the one to the left, that screw is always a little bit of a challenge. But once you do it a couple of times, it's easy. And I did spill a little bit of water here. I normally empty that first. And then just take the connection and uh, pull it back. It has a little small tab. And remove the ice maker. The next step is just to remove the screws in the little baseboard under the evaporator fan motor and the housing. They're also quarter nut. And as you can see here, I always use a magnetic bowl. Just keeps you from losing your screws. And you just lift up on that little plastic plate. What I'm pointing to here is the left and right air vent that go down to the fresh food side. That's what was blocked along with the center vent. And all I'm going to do is remove the back panel so you can see a little more clearly. And again, everything here is a quarter nut screw. Just take your quarter nut driver and remove all three. After removing the screws, just pull forward. Remove the little ground wire, push the harness on the inside, and you can take this and lift up and out. I'm just removing the left front cover of the vent. It's made of styrofoam, as you're going to see here. Also to the right of that is the drain hose. That's the complete little housing that that comes with. I use a shop vac to clear the drain lines and the blockage from the vents. You can use whatever you like, but a shop vac does just as well. I know a lot of people tell you use hot water. This works better and looks more professional. Now we go to the back, remove the back plate to get to the drain hose or the drain line. Those are just the screws I'm showing you to remove. Those are quarter nut. Here is your drain line. It's just a little plastic tubing that's going into a drain pan. And you're going to make sure that the blockage is cleared from the freezer area to the drain line itself. You can remove this extension if you like. But once you blow through there with a shop vac, it should be cleared. But you're going to test it by pouring water into the drain. After clearing the drain line, just take some water. I usually use a turkey baster. Pour it into the drain hole. And then just go to the back. Make sure that the water is going through the drain line into the pan. Once you confirm that, you can button it up. You solved your problem. Thanks again, guys, for watching my videos. I apologize for the poor lighting. I usually use my tripod. And also, if you like my videos, please don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions about starting your own business, 
feel free to contact me or go to our website or send me an email. As always, be blessed and be encouraged.